is Shubhi. I make videos on travel, food, fashion, lifestyle and a lot more. If you haven't seen any of my videos till now, please go ahead and check them out. Give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. So today's video is a bit of sharing my personal experience with you guys of how I entered the corporate culture with knowing absolutely zilch about corporate dressing and then knowing some stuff. I managed enough to know some stuff which I can share with you guys. So the first and foremost thing that I would want to share with you guys are the pair of shirts and trousers. So those are the must. I think a light colored shirt along with a black or a blue pant is a must have for every corporate professional's wardrobe. So here I have teamed my blue dotted white shirt with blue pants and I think it's a perfect combination which everyone can afford as well. Now this is my favorite combination, teaming a plain 3 4 white shirt with grey pencil skirt. Save this for important occasions always, this is a key outfit and a winner. I experimented with my formal wear when I got a normal blue shirt with customized Chinese collars. Blues and blacks always go together and they can give our outfit tons of varieties within limited resources. So as always, you can pair these outfits with black pumps. A little heels look good, so you can always prefer them. Now this is a semi-formal look I have created, say for Fridays when you want to give a chilled out vibes with floral formal top and yet want to maintain the formal vibes with the black blazer, so this outfit would do the trick for you. Owning a formal dress can give a nice twist to your formal wear wardrobe and you can wear them with or without stockings and experiment with the footwear like I have done. Try it and comment below. Now you might be aware that three colors, white, blue and black are the favorite formal wear colors so you can try them in basic variations of sleeves and shades, pairing them with broad or thin belts and your choice of footwear and yes, don't forget to carry a formal watch with your outfit. Also, it's completely up to you if you want to tie your hairs or leave them open in a formal look. And yes, the crisper a shirt is, the tidier you look in a formal wear. So don't forget to iron your shirt. Cufflinks can be used to get a classier look on professional front. I tried the trending trousers these days which have elastics on waist rather than normal buttons and zips. And I think they are very comfortable and easy to carry and so convenient. I prefer them all the time over normal trousers or pants. The last combination of trousers and shirts that I have is the classic black shirt with full sleeves and a grey trouser. Sometimes I like experimenting with the footwear when I'm wearing a basic outfit so that it gives a twist to my whole look. So here I am trying a black kind of an Oxford shoes but with block heels so that it gives me length as well and looks awesome. And last, I would suggest you to buy one pair of striped skirt because I think striped skirts can go with any shirt that you have and it gives a classier look. And now the last tip, for the winter seasons, instead of going for the jackets to spoil your look, you should go for a coat in light colors so that they can go with every dark color outfit that you wear. And that's it for today's video. I hope you like some of the outfit ideas which I shared in this video. Please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notified of all the videos that I upload. Now to announce the winner of the giveaway contest, it's Sushi Sake. And for others, stay tuned for my Victoria's Secret giveaway soon.